Okay, I believe we have some more uh, codex entries now. Yeah, for both the uh, council and non-council races. The, Let's the learn about the Salarians. The second species to join the Citadel, the Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, huh. other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. The Salarians huh. were responsible for advancing the development. Roughly 12... Oops, the whoops, second I'm sorry, species guys. To I, join the I, Citadel, I moved the, the wrong Salarians joystick by mistake. Are warm I'm sorry. amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. The so Salarians basically, they look down on other races for advancing as being the development of the than, primitive than Kogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the Genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan Rebellion several centuries later. And those Salarians are a couple of things we're going to be learning about later on. capability and non-linear thinking. This manifests as an aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. Yeah, and the Salarians often... Uh treat it as if um, they they always believe that they are smarter than you or whatever other race that there is. They're, they're not uh, subtle about it. The Any other? Oh, the, the Keepers. Here we go. discovered the Citadel, they also discovered the Keepers, a docile, multi-limbed insect race that seemingly exists only to maintain and repair the great Prothean station. Very Early mysterious. Early attempts to communicate with or study the Keepers were failures. And it is now illegal to interfere with or impede Keeper activity. Because uh -huh. they are completely non-threatening, Keepers have become virtually invisible to everyone else. Similarly, they seem indifferent to other species, except for their tendency to help new arrivals integrate themselves into the Citadel. No matter how many Keepers uh -huh. die due to old age, violence, or accident, they maintain a constant number. No uh -huh. one has discovered the source of new Keepers, but some hypothesize they are genetic constructs. Biological androids created somewhere deep in the inaccessible core of the Citadel itself. And that would kind of make sense, because if they're... Sometimes they dis they get destroyed or die or disappear, then they just... It just uh, another one just shows up to replace it. And they're just always constantly working on the Citadel and fixing it and keeping up, keeping it nice. It, it really does make sense. Technology, A virtual uh, intelligence... Well, we know what we kind of know what virtual or VIs or virtual intelligences are. So yeah, so now we know about the council races, the Turians, Sari, and Salarians. So okay, so now we can use this, and they gave us, of course, a couple different things to do. And what I'm gonna do first? Uh, oh, that's right. You can't. I have to actually go to those places first before. Although you can actually go to Kor's Den at this moment. But actually, you know what? What I'm going to do instead, rather than use this, I'm going to go around the Me. to the other locations in the Presidium. So that then we'd be able to uh, fast That's travel to them it. later on. I'm hearing it everywhere. It's not just isolated rumors. Ooh, do you really what think rumor? Saren could be involved in something like that without the Council knowing it? Maybe oh. the Council does know. Oh, rumors are getting around about what Saren's up to. <laughs> okay, so as we uh, found out, we could either go talk to Barlavon to uh, find out more about Saren, since he works for the Shadow Broker, the best information broker that there is, or we could head down to Corazon and talk to Harkin. What I'm actually going to do is both. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to... Uh, Barlavon first, then I'm gonna go talk to Harkin, and then we'll uh, figure out what to do from there. Alright, let's go down the, what is known as the infamous elevators in the Citadel. <laughs> These elevators are known pretty well. I can't believe nice the elevator music. All the evidence against Saren. And this Saren is where your squadmates have to talk. 
about some things. Huh. Huh. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's huh. politics, Chief. <laughs> I hate politics. <laughs> Many people do hate politics, Ash. Many people do. <laughs> Always have some nice elevator music. Okay. Alright, well there's another keeper and another Avena that we can talk to. So this is where you, you would come to uh, Look at access that bug the thing tower. Over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Alright, well let's talk to this Avena. Oh, look at that. It's a mini mass relay right there. We'll have to go take a look at that. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the city. I believe tower, there are three of these One terminals. of the Presidium's we'll most recognizable and important structures. Behind me hmm. is the spectacular relay monument, a scale model oh. representation of a Prothean mass relay. Huh. To your left is one of the keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working yep. on a control panel. I've already scanned you it. You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. I'm not interfering with them. I'm just the keepers them. are That's essential all. to the smooth operation of the them. citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including I'm not incarceration their work. and rehabilitation. <laughs> rehabilitation, I guess, from the pummeling they would give you. Let's talk about this monument. Tell me about the relay monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument mm -hmm. is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is How the is meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is <laughs> it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Oh, or perhaps I see. it is a symbol of unity, a Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. <laughs> no one can say for sure. Making the relay monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Hmm. Well, let's ask about the keepers. I'd like to know more about the keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are huh. essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Yeah, basically, what we got in the codex. Citadel actually. regulations protect the keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers mm, can be seen before. in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Why the tower? Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? The keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station's systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed hmm. the keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The keepers mm. also make frequent appearances in the council chamber itself. Yeah, we saw a few of them Though they appear to be there. just passing through on their way to some other destination. In fact, I completely forgot to scan those. Well, I'll have to scan them the next time I go back there, and I will be heading back there at some point. Tell me about, the, about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the council chambers and Citadel Control, the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control handles all incoming and outbound transit. Every hmm. ship within 2,000 kilometers of the Citadel is under the jurisdiction of Citadel Control. Huh. At peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of a thousand vessels. Wow. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. Which the business we were, we're of the just Council, at. which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The Council huh. Chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold, though few get to experience the view in person. Typically, hmm. only the I Counselors, did. Ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. I've seen I've it. I've been inside the Council Chambers. Only a handful of visitors to the Citadel are ever granted that privilege. I would huh. be jealous, but that is outside the scope of my program. <laughs> I am not programmed to be jealous, for I am only a virtual intelligence. <laughs> what if someone has business with the council? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if they wish an audience with the council. <laughs> this is Basically usually a very long through their waiting respective time. ambassadors. <laughs> Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the ambassador acts on behalf of the citizen. Just like 
like if Udina would be the one to act for us. That's all for now. All right. Thank you for using Avina. Have a pleasant day. Thank you. You have a pleasant day as well. Huh. Look at this thing. You got you have something to say, Ash? Um, art doesn't normally do much for me, but that relay statue I like. Kaden? Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. Makes my teeth tingle. Huh. Perhaps it's uh, running or something. It's actually got some kind of engine or something going on. I believe over here is the financial district where we will find uh, Bar Levon, who is one of the guys that we can talk to. Uh, yep, this is it. Okay, uh... He, yep, here he is. Alright, let's chat.